so we've had a few things happen since we've been here in Montana. I think we told you about that when we arrived, the motorcycle, there was a little oil that Ricky noticed that had dripped in the garage of the of our toy hauler. And he found out that one of the shocks was messed up. So we ordered new shocks and he got those put on. And then we went down a gravel road and we hit a pothole. And that's when we think the exhaust broke, not completely, but then the next time we rode the motorcycle, it finished breaking. So we have had the motorcycle parts ordered. And um, the first week that they were on order, we called after we had not heard from the Harley shop in a week. And they told us that um, they forgot to order the parts or they didn't put the order through completely. So anyway, we had to wait another week. And they called us this morning and the parts are in. So we get to go Saturday to get the motorcycle fixed. So we're excited about that. And that's the reason that we are not bringing you a full video this week because we haven't been able to get out and and ride the mountains and get some more scenery of the mountains. So that's that's what I want to do while we're here. So, and we're going to do some hiking. So we, we can't drive the truck up on the going to the Sun Road because it's just too big. And so once we can get the motorcycle fixed and get up there, we're going to do some hiking. So we're going to show you some very good trails. But you may want to, you may wonder why I'm sitting here in front of the washing machine. That's another issue. And I'll be right back to tell you about it. I know that it can be this someday. Welcome back to our YouTube channel, Soaring Together. And we are in Montana. You all know we're in Montana. Yes, we We've are. seen our last uh, few videos. Um, but as I told you at the beginning of the video, um, we have had a little uh, delay in getting out and getting to do some things because the motorcycle is still not fixed. But... We are going to get it to Missoula on Saturday. That's the plan. The owner of the RV park here, we want to thank Mr. Ronnie. He has a trailer that he's going to let us borrow. So Ricky's going to haul it down there because they said he, they wouldn't advise him uh, riding it with that exhaust broke. But we did ride it 70 miles home that day. Well, I don't quite agree. It's behind the catalytic converter, but whatever if something messed up they don't want to be held liable by telling you to go ahead and ride it but anyway we're going to get that saturday so in the next coming weeks we'll be able to bring you some more adventurous videos of glacier montana where are you going today spend some money spend some money yeah missoula yeah what is it grizzly harley is that what it's grizzly called grizzly harley Davis. they are gonna fix our exhaust on our bike stage one in them. stage so what's a stage one basically exhaust uh, bigger air filter breather and a tuner tuner you could have put it in but you couldn't do the tuner well I could have done the tuner too I mean I watched the steps doing it kind of like Cecil though the, sometimes the head bolts are hard to come out and if you know. break one of those, you're in trouble. Yeah, it could be very difficult. But not likely that it happens. Mr. Ronnie, that owns the park here, loaned us his trailer. This is what he hauls his tractors on. Yeah. Well, I still think I could have rode it. I mean, I'm basically going to take off. 
what they said I can't run it with that off I just I don't believe that but. the Harley shop told him not to ride it up there although we rode it 70 miles after it happened didn't we yeah. but it's 120 miles down there I think so we got the um, security set to haul mode I hope so I hope it didn't go off well you can tell because you got the camera up there on the back of the truck so you can watch it and if the lights, the lights start flashing really you know flashing. and you remember how to set it right for when you come back Ken's gonna ride with him this is our friends rig Ken and Tammy they have the big HDT and DRV Ken's going with him and Tammy and I and Lisa are going to take a bicycle ride today. Um, I want to go uh, up there and do some hiking. I want to uh, first I want to hike to the hidden lake that's um, there at Logan Pass. We didn't do that when we were here before. And I also want to hike on the um, Highline, tra Highline Trail. And that, you're hiking around a rock. A massive mountain rock. Well, it's just, yeah. And they say you get to, you'll see a lot of animals. That's our clock. It always you goes think, off when do we do think videos. That's our clock. <laughs> it always wants to go off when we do videos, but I'm not going to edit it out this time. I'll just let you listen to it. Um, but we've had some fun things happen in the last few weeks. Um, somebody had a birthday. Somebody's had a birthday. We both had birthdays, and um, we didn't go out to eat on your birthday, but I did oh, make you right all day. I did make you a birthday cake. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I didn't do anything. Yeah. And then on my birthday, we found out that the Montana Club in Kalispell, uh, on your birthday, they give you um, the percentage off your meal according to how old you are. So I got 65% off my meal. And I had two friends said that I would get mine free. I'm not a hundred. I know. Yet. No, it's a while but before we get it free. Love you anyway. <laughs> but we got to go out and eat with our friends, um, Bob and Lisa and Cecil and Regine and Steve. Mm -hmm. And uh, they bought me a frozen, I guess it wasn't like an ice cream cake. Mm -hmm. And uh, we all shared that. It was very good. Um, but yeah, we had a good good time of fellowship, good night on my birthday. And then the next day was our anniversary. Mm -hmm. And what did we do on our anniversary? We worked. We did. It was our work day, but we also put in a few extra hours because we wanted to uh, help. Uh, they're doing some staining on the cabins here in the park. So Ricky and I wanted to help get one of them stained before the rains got here. So... Uh, we worked a little extra that day and did some staining on our anniversary, mm -hmm. and we we did we did a good job. <laughs> That's debatable. We even it was one time we worked together that we didn't even um, fuss at each other, <laughs> if you want to call it that. We worked together good. I was tired. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so I stained the swing, and then he. He uh, got on the outside of the porch post and stained the out on the outside of the post, and I was on the porch doing the inside, and we got it done in no time. Mm. And it dried before the rains came, mm. so we were happy about that. Um, but we've also had some friends arrive. Um, if you remember, we did have a video a couple uh, weeks back where our friends Mark and Linda came up from, they live near Billings, and... And they came up for the weekend and spent some time with us. And and then yesterday we had some more friends arrive, Ken and Tammy. Mm -hmm. And uh, 
We got big friends. <laughs> Okay, we got the crowd coming out. <laughs> the nosies. <laughs> That's okay, we all do it. <laughs> weren't we supposed to be sitting here? Well, you know, We're supposed to get a lawn out. chair, weren't we? <laughs> on, we got spectators. Hey, Ken, you got spectators. <laughs> I didn't, I wasn't the only one that somebody was always looking at. Is that a rally? There were four of them. And uh, so they're going to be here a few weeks, and yeah. we've got a surprise for you. We got some Tennessee friends coming. Yeah. Hadn't seen them in a while. Yeah. And we're not going to tell you who they are until they get here. So keep watching our video so you can find out who's coming from Tennessee. We're I'm excited. surprised she's keeping a secret. She cannot keep a secret. <laughs> um, and what else we got going on? Well, we've been to church. Yes, yes. We have found a church here. Mm -hmm. Our friends, uh, Bob and Lisa, have been attending this church. They've worked camped here um, this Three is their years. third year. Yeah. And uh, they started attending this church in Kalispell. It's Fresh Life. Mm -hmm. And the pastor is Levi... Let's go. Let's go. Mm -hmm. um, very, very good pastor. And he's got several churches yeah. uh, around in this part of the country. Yeah. Several satellites. Satellite churches, but the church that we attend is the main campus, so we get to see him preach in person, where some of the campuses only get the video of the sermon. But uh, very, very good church, and uh, we, we love their praise and worship, and we even got to see who? You don't remember, do you? Phil. Phil. Welcome. Phil Wickham. So Phil Wickham is a well-known um, praise and worship leader, praise and, worship leader yes. and um, songwriter. And um, I, I would show you that video, but it, it's copyright, you know, on my YouTube channel. But I will show you just a little video without the audio. Um, and what else? That's pretty much it. Pretty much it. We've been yeah. working. And for those of you uh, who haven't watched a few videos, we are here in Montana, five miles from Glacier, and we are working for the summer, and uh, it's working out good. Um, we I work 12 hours, and he works 12 hours, and just three days, four hours a day, mm -hmm. and then we have four days to play. So before we leave here in September, we're, we're going to try to make a run up to Canada and spend the night in... Uh, hopefully go to Banff National Park. So uh, we got some really good uh, videos that I'm expecting uh, coming soon for you. We also have some new merch. We do have some new merch. We have um, 
new t-shirts and you stand there and you'll be showing the front you got uh what you what were you eating chips got some chips i eat so here's the back can you see it all <laughs> how could they miss it oh <laughs> so for those of you who don't know we do have a son right now that's in the middle east he's been in the air force for almost 21 years and uh, he is deployed to the Middle East. So um, this was a shirt design that I wanted to do um, just. Well, um, not just for him, but for the all military. Yeah. Well, we did get the shirts from um, um, Open Roads that. Um, the, red, the red shirts. Wear red on, on Friday, Friday. Uh, to honor our uh, soldiers who are deployed. Um, and the veterans. Yeah. But I knew that we would still have these shirts even after he's deployed. So I just uh, put on the back, wear red, remember our active duty and veterans. So um, we didn't do an online order of these uh, for you to be able to order yourself because then you have to pay your own shipping and it gets very costly. And we don't want to make our shirts real expensive that way. So we do have shirts on hand. Um, we're not going to be shipping them. But if you see us, ask for a shirt. We have them with us. So we will be at the National Heavy Duty Truck Rally in October. And we'll have our shirts. And we have a few caps. So this week, I noticed that the washing machine was dripping some. So let me get down and show you. I'll get the camera down here. So right here underneath the door, when the washing machine is going, um, there is just a little stream of water. So I just did a load of clothes, so you'll see I have my uh, tablecloth. But anyway, I've checked all of this, the rubber gasket around and cleaned and everything, and, and everything looks good. Um, I don't feel any tears in it anywhere, but anyway, that's where the leak's coming from because it's coming out and coming right down here. And so what I've done so far, and by the way, I did find out today it is under warranty. And I just wanted to show you, it's not a very bad leak because I put the towel under here and I don't know if you can tell because the towel's kind of dark, but it just has just a little water on it there. But any leak in an RV, is not a good leak because it can get through and rot your floors so i can tell that underneath the washer is is dry but like i said i'm getting just a little water on the towel so to end this video i'm going to show you just a quick slideshow of some more photos that i captured when we took our bike ride up to logan's pass in glacier national park we'll see you next week thanks for watching